So we are delighted now to welcome Tamo Lucan, who is responsible for category management, hunting and nature at Zeiss. Tamo, it's wonderful to have you with us today. Thank you very much. All right, and I understand that you'd like to talk to us today about thermal imaging devices. You've recently released one, is that right? Yes, that is right. And at this point, I would like to start with our ambition and our background. Our team at Zeiss, and I myself as a passionate hunter, know that some of the most exciting and memorable moments that hunters can experience often occur after sunset, so in twilight conditions and in the dark. Moreover, we also have decades of experience in developing products that are especially catered for the hunter's needs at night. For example, in 1998, we introduced the VariPoint rifle scope, the first rifle scope to feature a day and a nighttime capable illuminated reticle. In 2003, we followed suit with our night vision device, and in 2012, we introduced the Victory HT line of binoculars and rifle scopes, which were the first hunting optics to feature high transmission glass. Therefore, for us, it was just the next logical step to enter into thermal imaging. Fascinating. And as I understand it, you've brought a couple of your latest devices with you today. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Our first thermal imaging device that we introduced is the DTI-335. And we took a special care that we deliver high detailed images and an easy and intuitive user interface, which we call the ergo control system. So what do I mean by this? The buttons here are arranged in a very specific pattern so that the hunter always knows which button he is pressing. Okay, so why is this so important? Now look, when you look at the competition, many have the buttons just in a straight line. Now you're out there hunting in the dark. You've been stalking the wild boars maybe for an hour. You're finally setting up to shoot to be successful because you're in range. And then suddenly you press the wrong button. So instead of zoom, you change your color mode, okay? And that just throws you off because maybe that color mode doesn't give you the contrast you need. So you need to go back to your old color mode, look for the zoom button, and this all costs vital time that might make the difference between success or going home empty. I can imagine, yeah, you've got to be pressing the right button. Fascinating. Yeah, definitely. Also, each button has an individual shape. So even when it's cold and you're wearing gloves, you will always find the right button to use. Right. Yeah. And of course, also it is ambidextrous, so you can use it with your left hand or your right hand, you know, so it makes it very flexible. Nice. Also, the DTI features a high precision zoom. Most thermal imaging cameras only offer a one or two times digital zoom, but we offer the possibility to zoom in 0 0.5 increments. So the hunter can always choose the perfect combination out of detail recognition and magnification. And last but not least, of course, the DTI is fully integrated into our Zeiss hunting app, giving the hunter the perfect digital experience because it's very easy for him to download the images and his videos onto his smartphone and share his great experiences over social media or also directly over the hunting app with his friends. Okay, but as I understand it, there are already other products on the market with 12 micron pitch sensors and some of them have a better resolution. So what's Zeiss doing about that? I would like to go a bit more into detail here because um, the pixel pitch has nothing to do with the resolution of the sensor. So the pixel pitch merely describes the distance between the individual pixels. And sometimes it's 12 micron and sometimes it's 17 micron. The resolution is determined by the number of pixels that you have on the sensor. And also, depending on the application and the hunter's needs you want to fulfill with the product you're developing, sometimes a 17 micron sensor and sometimes 12 micron sensor will give you the better result. And we at Zeiss know, therefore, that it's not so good if you only look at the hard facts, okay? Because the true magic in a thermal imaging camera happens in the image processing, which is inside of the camera. And this is also where we have two distinct advantages. So not only do we have 130 years of experience in hunting, but also just as much experience in photography, lens development, and sorry, imaging. Sorry, photography. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but yes. what's photography got to do with hunting? That's a very good question. Um, as we're talking about a thermal imaging camera, so it already has it in its name that this is a digital camera. So like the one you have at home for taking pictures, but that captures light rays, this camera captures thermal imaging rays okay. or thermal rays, right? 
So therefore, our experience in the photography section helps us very much in developing and giving the customer the perfect package with the DTI 335. And in the future, we will focus on image processing, as this will always give the hunter the best possible image experience with comparable hardware. Fascinating, fascinating. So, so as I understand it, we're looking at several new products in the near future in the thermal imaging range. Is that right? Yes, we, we see thermal imaging not just as a quick trend, but as a future technology in hunting that will probably dominate the market. So therefore, we are undertaking massive investments into this area. Of course, I cannot go into detail and tell you each and every product <laughs> that uh, we want, uh, that we're going to uh, launch. But I can tell you that we are looking very closely into customer needs to understand what they want and to give them the perfect solution. Can so, you tell us something? Sorry to interrupt. Can you tell us something about some products that you're planning in the thermal imaging area? Well. I can tell you, well, as a hunter and product manager, for example, I'm thinking about which kind of additional focal length would work for a DTI-3, for example. Um, what applications warrant a larger sensor? Or if there are also other applications besides handhelds, such as thermal attachments. Well, it certainly sounds like uh, there's a lot to look forward to from Zeiss, uh, certainly in this area in the future. But you mentioned the word attachments. Um, thermal imaging attachments, mm -hmm. there is often a bit of debate about this in the community. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, that is correct. Uh, it's, it's a controversial topic. And we at Zeiss and I myself as a hunter follow it uh, very closely. So the rise of the African swine flu and the exploding numbers in wild boar population have led in some areas to massive financial damages. And we can also see that many countries are actually changing their legislation. So they're allowing now hunting technologies that were formerly forbidden. And at Zeiss, we ask ourselves, how can we contribute in minimizing the losses, but above all, to prevent game from suffering? So as a very first step, we took our entire current rifle scope range, so the V8, the V6, V4, and HT, and tested them under shooting conditions with attachments to make sure that they work perfectly. And all of these have test, uh, passed our test. And also, but now when we look into new digital solutions, we need to make sure that they adhere to our ethical standards regarding product development, product safety, and of course also product reliability, because they're not just allowed to be merely work in progress. They should be fully developed. And this is also where our Zeiss DNA comes into play, because research and development is at the heart who we are. And every year, we invest more than 10% of our annual sales back into research and development. Fascinating stuff. OK, so what does that mean for the development of thermal imaging technology? For this, I would like to take a look outside of the Zeiss hunting world into the larger Zeiss world. So our semiconductor manufacturing technology division is a major contributor to the digital advancement of devices and solutions. So nearly all computer chips worldwide are produced with the help of Zeiss technology. So this means that probably in almost every thermal imaging camera out there on the market, there is some Zeiss technology inside. But going here into too much detail, I think, would be uh, going too far. So I would like to go back to Zeiss as a low-light hunting specialist. For us, it is absolutely important that we focus on the customer and fulfill their needs, and combine that with our DNA that puts research and development at the heart of who we are. We will continue to systematically grow our thermal imaging portfolio and bring to the market new, innovative, and interesting products. Tamil Lugman from Zeiss, absolutely fascinating stuff. Thank you very, very much indeed. It sounds like uh, you've got some very interesting years ahead of you, and it sounds like there's some fascinating products coming out in the near future. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, I was just about to move on, and then I thought, hang on, Tamil's not going to get away <laughs> with this. Everyone else had a challenge, so Tamil gets okay. one uh, too. Uh, would you be game for that? You're a bit yes, of a hunter well, yourself, well, you said? Yes, I am. Yeah. OK, I think that was challenge accepted. <laughs> Thank you.
Tamar, you're a good sport. Thank you for playing. Uh, we've seen uh, a couple of different uh, versions of this challenge. You, you lucky thing, have got true or false. Okay. Okay. So questions uh, mainly based around the IWA. So I understand you're a bit of an expert on that. Uh, but well, maybe we see. could have a little bit of help uh, from the studio if Tamil struggles with some of these questions. <laughs> so good luck. True or false? Okay. okay. Uh, question number one. The King of Spain, Juan Carlos, has visited the IWA. I would say it's true. It is true. It is yeah, true. Very, very good. Well, right? Did you meet him? Are you there? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Maybe not. Okay, maybe we can. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can arrange that next time. Yeah. Question number two: One of the halls in Nuremberg uh, has been used for basketball matches when the IWA is not there. Is that true or false? I would say it's true. Ah, it is a big hall, but unfortunately, it's a bit nope. of a tricky okay. question. It's not <laughs> true, I'm afraid. But they have played tennis there before, I'm told. Okay, so it's yeah. close. It it's was close. Also, it's also with a ball, so... Right. It is also with a ball. <laughs> I'll give you half a point for that, Tamar, okay? <laughs> question number three. The IWA used to be open to end consumers as well. I know that formerly there used to be a few end consumers on the fair, but officially, I think it was not open for them. Well, I, you know what? I'm going to give Tamo that because I think <laughs> the person who wrote this question, I thought that was very nasty because apparently there was one day when end consumers were allowed to come. So I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm ignoring the referee and I'm giving him that. Well done, Tamo. Uh, question number four. The IWA is organized only by girls. No boys, apparently. True or false? I would say it's true. It's false. There are some boys <laughs> we uh, understand and uh, they are happy to welcome okay. more gentlemen into their team <laughs> later. Uh, the IWE IWA party is the party with the highest alcohol consumption of all exhibition parties in the Nuremberg Messe. True or false? Before you answer this question, have you had say. a drink at one of these parties? <laughs> of course. Of course, he says, of course. Okay, so you're so watching the consumption. What do you think? Yeah. So I think it's true. It is, in fact, true. The <laughs> IWA exhibitors do like to party, we understand. Very the average good. age of the visitors at the IWA is 57. True or false? God, that's a very... That is, that is that's a, very uh, a, mean, a mean question. It yeah. really is, isn't it? <laughs> um, now, okay, I'll, I would, I'll ask I would the question differently. Do you think the average age is higher than 57 or lower than 57? I would say just below 57, somewhere It's there. the correct answer. <laughs> 40 and a half years, apparently, is the average age. Okay. And Zeiss, here we go. You should get this one right. Zeiss <laughs> is an exhibitor at IWA since the beginning. Is this true or false? Whew, that's a long time ago. I think it was quite small back then. Yeah, uh, both of us were. <laughs> both but of us I would uh, guess that it's true. It is true. Well done, guys. <laughs> You've been there since the very beginning, 1974. Okay, last couple of questions. IWA is Europe's most beautiful trade fair for uh, hunting and sporting goods. True or false? Definitely true. Definitely <laughs> true, he says. And when Tamil says it, it must be right. And last but not least, Zeiss is one of the coolest exhibitors at the IWA. Of course. <laughs> of Who course else? we are. <laughs> of course we are. Tamil Lukman from Zeiss, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for your time and for sharing all of your fascinating knowledge today. Thank you very much also.